how the bond market could affect the dollar hi it's charlie giving you today's video i'm actually recording this friday afternoon so this is an interesting chart here this is the 10 year um us um 10 year yield on us government bonds and so as you can see just over this past week up until right now what up at the point i'm recording this we can see that uh, bond yields have had a straight run at right up to five percent there's been a lot of talk about the potential for bond yields to run up there now what's interesting with this is that in spite of bond yields going up when bond yields are rising that tends to be a positive for the dollar itself dollar benefits from rising yields and so what's been interesting here over this past week or so in, since this last leg higher in bond yields is if we come over to the dollar index itself it's actually been going sideways so what does that suggest well we've got rising yields which should see normally uh, a rising dollar but they're not so we've actually had pretty positive data coming out of the US just this this week alone this past week alone we had stronger retail sales um, but we've not seen any movement the, we had a strong retail sales report on Tuesday and yet that's the bar that we had this is a daily chart here so no particular move on they should have benefited the dollar and one would expect to see normally the dollar going higher on that the following day we did when we had a bit of fear in the market in relation to um the situation in the middle east uh, but you know since then the dollar's just sort of really not really doing too much so what does this suggest well um certainly at the moment the dollar maybe it's just exhausted it's been going up since july the end of july so it has had a good a very good run so maybe it's just a bit exhausted and there's just not enough fresh buyers out there to keep on pushing it higher in fact maybe there's been profit taking going on amongst um, larger investors so when we reflect on the 10 year I, what happens now so the dollar didn't want to go up when bond yields were going up but what if the 10-year decides to do a pullback ah right well if the dollar doesn't want to go up even when the yields are, are rising what about when you if yields were coming down so as of i'm recording this at 20 past four now on friday afternoon uh, if these yields hold down here and and if they started coming down uh, from here over the next whatever week or whatever then we could make an assumption that well if, if the dollar doesn't want to go higher when yields go higher but yields come lower maybe the dollar goes with that so something to consider there when we look now back to the daily chart of the dollar it's getting a bit choppy here but it's just something to bear in mind when you're looking at the interrelationships of stocks the US dollar uh, bonds the bond market and bond yields then trying to piece it all together it's not always direct that that it, like the way I've just sort of talked about it here today but it's certainly a factor and so at the moment we're seeing bond yields coming off having hit five percent and that if they were to keep on pulling back then, it, then we could see uh, the dollar on the back of that pulling back but there is push and pull why is the dollar not selling off even more probably because stock market is selling off so now we start talking about that interplay amongst markets look at the s p here which is selling off so that's at this point in the day that i'm recording this video so usually if the stock markets are selling off that's normally a positive for the dollar and yet what's the dollar doing going back to the dollar right now well, it's actually negative on the day not by a lot but it is negative on the day so we've got a lot of push pull factors normally if the stock market's coming down we'd see the dollar going up but we've got this push pull factor of actually bond yields falling today and now the dollar falling a little bit in line with those so yes lots of factors going on and if the stock markets were to keep on selling off then that that could benefit the dollar in which case 
maybe even if yields carry on coming down maybe what we see is just a lot more chop here for the dollar but it's a fascinating playbook one to watch keeping your eye on what the stock market's doing and in in relation to that those 10-year yields you can look at the two-year as well here's the two-year yield which has just been making marginal new highs and is now coming off since yesterday as well so um, we're starting to see those US yields maybe they've just got very very extended if I take the 10-year out to a monthly chart you really get to appreciate just how extended look at the my 50 debt 50 uh, sorry this is on the monthly chart the, my 50 month moving average my 50 period moving average here and how far price or, or the yield is on this chart away from it so it's quite extended um, a difficult call um, on on that basis because the trend has been so strong but as an observance there's certainly the scope for yields to pull back so we're in an interesting dynamic here whereby yields pull back which should actually and bearing in mind the dollar didn't want to go up when it had the opportunity to so coming back to the dollar there is this potential for a pullback based on if uh, we see those continued weakness in yields the caveat is the stock market coming back to the S&P one last time is that usually the dollar would benefit it can't it's stuck between the two at the moment and uh, we'll have to find out how it plays out it's going to be an interesting playbook as I've said stock market got a technical break going on of this channel that I've got on my chart here so not exactly looking great for stocks right now and and right now we've um, we've also got those 10-year yields starting to pull back two-year yields starting to pull back and coming back to the dollar do we see a pullback in the dollar as a result or does it just chop around because of the push-pull effect of stocks? All to play for going into next week.